Right, we're here with um, Florida Southern after their 19 to 10 victory over Florida Tech in the South Regional Championship game. Um, we'll start with Coach Kara Reaver with her opening thoughts. Well, I think our team certainly came out the second half was where we played the game that we know how to play. Uh, we struggled in the first half, whether we were still in bed or, I mean, really playing like we looked like we had played a game yesterday. Uh, just really making mistakes that we don't normally make. And we're able to turn around. Luckily, it was tied at halftime, so all we needed to do was put something together for the second half. Um, and we're able to play the last 30 minutes the way we normally do. Shannon, that was a pretty, I guess, there was no rhythm. It was kind of just a clunky game, but you found a way to put together your best game on a big day. You know, what was it about other that it worked for you so well? Well, I had uh, some really good teammates feeding me, so I really have to give it to them because they really helped me out today. Um, really, it's about placing your shot, and I, I definitely found the back of the net today. And Alana, when a game's clunky like that for you know the offense, you know, what's it like for you back there? Because obviously it impacts you in some way, but is it maybe easier? Is it harder because it's just kind of like, what's going to happen? When are we going to not have a stoppage, I guess? you know, How does it impact you? Well, our defense always stays really strong no matter what happens on the other end. Um, no matter how close the game is, we always just play the same game. And Coach, when you look at the second half, you kind of mentioned that everybody just woke up. But there was like a four or five minute period where it was 11 to 10, and then you guys just ran away with it, I guess. Was that just finally, you know, having a sustained period of the game where it wasn't stop and go, penalty here, call here, where you guys finally get to play? I definitely think so. Um, I think when we got that next one and then we're able to get the next one, it, it was just the flow certainly went in our favor for sure. And I think they got kind of the nerves went away when we were able to at least sustain like a three goal run that helped us to be like, okay, we, we've got it and kind of take some of the, the edge off. And I can ask you this now, how big is it to be able to win here at home and now play for potentially a national championship, you know, basically down the road in Tampa? Yeah, no, we're really excited that we have the opportunity to play in Florida this year, to really not have to travel, not have to get on a plane. Um, that certainly does take a lot out of you. Um, so we are looking forward to being in an environment that we're used to. Coach, one last final question. There were 68 total fouls today and 66 total shots. Do you have any thoughts on maybe why that was, how that sort of played into your game plan? Uh, I, I think I don't think we shot enough the first half. I think we kept looking for um, passing, kind of looking for somebody else to get it done. And so the second half for us, we definitely had a lot more opportunity to shoot. Both teams are very fast-paced teams. And with the addition of the possession clock, I think you're going to see a lot more shots in the game. Um, so the fact that you had two fast-paced teams pace teams playing each other um, was evident on why you would have 68 um, shots in a game, especially because they average over 18 goals a game and same with us. So I think that is the significance is just the time of possession that you're allowed to have the ball. You got to do something with it at the end. So hopefully you shoot and score. Thank you. Yep. Thanks.